Greetings everyone, my name is LG. Today we'll start playing with Sword Art Online Lost Song for the Sony PlayStation 4. This is a Japanese action RPG game developed by Art Denk and published by Bandai Namco. Sword Art Online has a famous and currently trending anime manga series. I can not say that I'm a big fan of it. The game will take place in the Sword Art Online universe and I thought uh, before we start the game I will try to summarize it uh, in uh, one or two minutes. What happened till now for the people who are interested in this game and would like to know more without watching or reading the series, I will try to be as uh, spoilerless as I can. The original story starts in November 2022. A brand new virtual reality MMORPG game is released. It uses a brand new peripheral called the Nerve Gear. Imagine uh, this Nerve Gear as a VR device like uh, Oculus Rift or PlayStation VR. The only difference is that it connects to your brain with microwave technology instead of displaying images uh, on a, a display. With this, uh, it is much more realistic. The user feels that uh, they are part of the game. This sounds like a perfect gaming experience until the gamers realize that uh, they cannot uh, log out from the game and uh, they are stuck uh, in this world forever. This would uh, still sound perfect uh, for some of us, but then the game developer shows up and tells the people that uh, this was totally intended and if someone tries to remove their nerve gear in their real life, then the device will fry their brains. To escape this world, the players have to defeat all 100 levels of uh, Ancred and uh, of course uh, the final boss. The horror starts when they realize that if someone dies in the game, then they die in the real world too. The main protagonist of the story is a guy called Kirito, who was originally one of the thousand beta testers and at that time they got to the 10th level of the tower. So he knows uh, a lot about the game, he knows uh, that uh, the resources are limited. Not everyone will be able to level up, so he starts his adventure right away after the announcement. The animation is currently in the third series, and this game takes place in the second one. At the end of the first one, Kirito defeats uh, the final boss and saves everyone, but uh, some of the players' minds still seem stuck in the virtual reality. This is how the second series starts after the rehabilitation from the first game. Kirito receives some news from the former gamers. Someone plotted uh, or spotted uh, one of the missing players who is really important uh, to Kirito in the another game called Alfheim Online. And uh, you guessed well, this is another We Are MMORPG. Uh, this is uh, not controlled by the infamous Nerve Gear. There is uh, a new safer one called um, MSP Sphere. While the first game was much more medieval knights and warriors like game uh, without magic, this new one is uh, much more like a fairy tale with actual fairies, magic and flying capabilities. But the main plot is still the same. Big tower boss at the top uh, and a big reward. Kirito uh, decides to enter this world uh, to save Asuna. I read a little bit about the story of the game and it seems that uh, they decided to change the storyline a little bit. It will take place in an alternative timeline but uh, still in Alfheim. This will be a complete let's play with commentary. The game's language will be Japanese with uh, English subtitles. Currently there is no English dubbed version but I think even if there, uh, there would be then I would still play with the Japanese uh, voice ac acting no matter what. There will be dialogues uh, throughout this game where there won't be any voice acting. I will try to do my best and uh, read them all. I'm not a professional voice actor. Apologies for the uh, quality. Thank you very much for joining me on this adventure. I hope you all will have fun watching it. Without further ado, let's start the game.
<笑>すまんしょうがないんだからでもついにこの時が来たんだねあれが新しく実装された キリトくんで今はお兄ちゃんでいいか新エリアの実装を楽しみにしてたもんねああ、エールオーアルブヘイムオンラインを遊ぶようになって数ヶ月この大型バージョンアップを俺を含めた数多くのプレイヤーたち
So this will be uh, the tutorial part uh, of the game. Here we are, we are playing as uh, Kirito. And um, there is uh, Leafa. Leafa is, uh, is Kirito's sister. The difference, the real big uh, difference between uh, this uh, timeline and the, the anime one uh, or manga one is that uh, at the beginning they did not really know that uh, well, Kirito did not really know, and not even Leafa, that uh, they are brother and sisters because they don't, uh, they use some some other names. So from Leafa, uh, he does not know that it's uh, it's his uh, cousin uh, sister, uh, you know, adopted sister. Well, anyways, too much explaining. Let's go and uh, and try to speak. Okay, what is uh, how how can I speak here? Oh, circle to speak. We should move over to that glowing blue place. Also, if we hold R1 while moving, we can move faster by dashing. If you dash too much, your stamina points will run out and you'll get fatigued, so we have to be careful. If you press X again after jumping, we can perform a double jump in order to reach even higher places. Okay. Jumping uses up a small number of stamina points too. Okay, let's jump. Oh, double jumping. And R1 is dash. Oh well, this jump is uh, is not that uh, that too big. But uh, here we go. Let's uh, let's jump there. And that uh, it seems that um, yellow uh, indicator at the top is uh, is my stamina. Uh, it seems that it uh, it's not really going down too fast. Thank you very much, Leafa. You've got movement part uh, down path. Next, let's talk about search points. Search points are glowing spots you will see in outdoor areas and in dungeons. By examining them, you can discover the currency of a sword of time yield or items. Uh, okay, that's good. Hey Kirito, look, there is a search point right over there. After you approach a search point, you can examine it by pressing the circle. Why not get it a try? Why not give it a try? Over there! Okay, will you give me some extra info here? That glowing spot on the ground is the search point. Let's get close to it and examine it with a circle. Okay, well, let's try to do that. Mm, it's strange because uh, when I push uh, the R1, uh, there are two extra buttons, an HP... Uh, well, I cannot really do anything with them now, but uh, here we go. So, circle. I mean, circle. I'm pushing circle. Approach the search point. Oh. You have to approach it from a, a good direction. Okay, Yui is um, Kirito's and Asuna's, uh, well, child, digital child, uh, let's call it like that. But yeah, she is a, she is a little fairy now. And you found Yold. You can find uh, both Yold and items for enchanting your weapons, crafting materials from search points. Search points can be found on uh, both the ground and in the sky. Make sure to examine any you find. Okay then, next on our list of things to practice are floating mode and flight mode. All right. Uh, I did not mention in the intro that there were two uh, games before this. So this is, uh, this is the third one. And in the previous ones, there were no flying abilities. So this is something new. When you want to get uh, off the ground and up into the air, press the, um, well, uh, the, the directional buttons to switch your current movement mode. Okay. Uh, there are two different modes of aerial movement. Floating mode lets you hover. Flight mode lets you soar like a bird. Come on, Brick Butter, let's try floating. To start, you will need to activate floating mode. Activate floating mode by pressing either left or right. Hold X to ascend, press X twice to descend. First, uh, try to go up as high as you can. Okay. Oh, I got a uh, 50 yield. 
Alright, so, yep. Here we go. I'm floating. And I'm, I'm trying to go up now. To the top. I can look around and, and check the area. That's my daddy. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> If you attempt to go any higher, you will hit this area's altitude limit. In Swart Alfheim, each area has its own altitude limit. If you try to go beyond the altitude limit, floating or flight mode will be cancelled and you will fall. Be careful. Let's practice a little more, daddy. Please float back to the ground. You can descend by pressing X twice. If you can uh, be pretty scary, it can be pretty scary, but you can press uh, down to switch to walking mode and uh, free fall back down uh, to the ground. I'm counting on you. Okay. Oh, okay. I press X twice while floating descend. Hold second press uh, to continuously descend. Okay, nice. Nice, here we go. That should be everything uh, for floating mode. Our next lesson will be practicing flight mode. Uh, this will be up and down, I think. Press up to switch to flight mode. In flight mode, you will automatically fly forward. Use uh, the left analog stick uh, to free, fly, uh, freely control the movement in the air. You can also increase your speed by dashing. Uh, and uh, even enter an aerial die drive, which lets you fly even faster. Heh. You were a total noob when you first started flying Kirito, but you've gotten uh, the hang of it pretty quickly. I agree, that is amazing. Okay, we have to go there. Let's practice. Fly uh, to that glowing point uh, while in flight mode. Brother, over here. Okay, let's, uh, let's speak. What was that? You want to know more about the different modes? Uh, not really. <laughs> uh, walking mode is for being on the ground. Floating mode lets you hover in the sky, in the air. Uh, flight mode lets you zip around in the sky. You switch between modes by, uh, with the uh, well, analog buttons or what are those. Uh, down is walking mode, left or right is floating mode and up is uh, flight mode. Simple and easy, fun and breezy. Daddy, try flying to that glowing point while in flight mode. Okay, so there is the... Whoa! Okay, how can I go up? Hey, I would like to go up. Whoa, all right. So the left analog stick uh, uh, is, is controlling the stuff and not the right one. Okay. Fantastic, you did it. Nice. You look so cool when you're flying, daddy. Keep in mind that both dashing and aerial dives uh, use up stamina points when you are in flight mode. However, however, it can be very useful when you want to close in on a pesky enemy in a hurry. Alright. Oh, there are the enemies! You should be an expert at flying by now. What's next, Huey? Battle! Let's start with the basics to make sure we don't forget anything. There are two types of attacks. Use a weak attack by pressing the square and use a strong attack by pressing uh, the triangle. Uh, it's really weird that uh, they colored it uh, a little bit bluish. It's, uh, it's green! Well, anyways. Strong attacks use up stamina points, but they are very powerful. When you attack, your weapon will ultimately be drawn. Press R1 quickly to switch between having a drawn or seated. The trick is to press R1 lightly and quickly. Okay. You still haven't learned any magic, but uh, when you do, remember, your weapon needs to be uh, seated for you to cast magic. Look over there, an enemy. Let's fight it. Do your best, daddy! Right. Okay, whoa, so 
I just uh, switched to... Ah. Uh, I switched to uh, the... Um, wow. Combat stance or I don't know what that is. There we go. So... I'm trying... Whoa! Whoa, what was that? Oh, you did it! Nice, I accidentally pushed a hard one and a triangle and it was some kind of special attack. Hey, great job! Whoa, those are... Uh, those look much, much more stronger. Uh-oh, more enemies spawned. Let's wipe the floor with this too. These uh, look a bit tougher than the others. You can use dodge and guard to deal with enemies' attacks. And giving you an advantage in battle. Press circle while moving with the left analog stick to perform a dodge and press R1 uh, and uh, plus uh, circle to guard. Okay, the R1 plus circle to guard and uh, dodge with the circle. Okay, when you are uh, hit by an attack uh, that sends you flying, you can use dodge to perform a recovery to quickly get uh, on your feet. If you don't perform a recovery, you will be knocked down. When you are lying on the ground, uh, you are defenseless. Dodging uses stamina points and guarding uses uh, the guard meter. Keep your eye on how much of each you have left. Let's hurry up and give it a try. <laughs> Alright, learn how to perform a dodge and guard uh, by defeating these guys. Uh, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Whoa, that was nice. Whoa, uh, I don't know what I did. I thought that I can uh, auto lock to, uh, to my enemy, but, uh, but no. So I'm trying to push the circle ah oh oh all right so movement plus circle okay and how can i lock on my my enemy well anyways let me try to do this i don't know what i did but there we go it was the same move as i tried before do you remember how to dodge guard and perform a recovery well i think the timing to dodge uh, an attack or press uh, R1 plus circle to guard seems like it might be a bit hard to get down. It can be, but uh, it is worth uh, the effort to master. Now, let us continue practicing by learning about lock-on feature. Thank you very much. When enemies are about, hold L1 to lock on the enemies closest to your camera. Lock-on means uh, that your view will automatically face toward the enemy you have logged on to, right? Correct! Uh, it's very useful when facing faster enemies. This is another battle basics you should become a proficient at. Brother, get out there and show me how it's done. Lock-on by holding L1. A red mark will appear on the enemy. Uh, you have logged on to okay oh there we go how can i lock on to to another one well anyways i'm logged on to to this guy oh i don't know what i did but uh, i got a whoa hey uh wait wait okay uh, i don't know what's uh, what's going on I'm, I'm trying to left, uh, right, L1. Oh, I have to push it uh, for a longer amount of time. There you go. Amazing, Daddy. You are fantasti fantastic. Oh, I shouldn't uh, do this. But anyways. All right. Uh, there's the stuff. Uh, enemy down. And look what we have here. It even drops some yield. Defeated enemies can drop yield, weapons, and other items. This finishes today's lesson. If you want to review anything uh, we uh, practiced today, you can fight monsters and move around freely in this area. Well, I think I'm, I'm okay with it. Yeah, that was fun. 
Uh, uh, how was it? Uh, like uh, to feel the new area? Oh, yeah, that was fun. Ah, <laughs> It would be a great idea. テイモンはどこだろう。パパ、こういう時はマーカーを使うんです。マーカー？そんなものあったっけ？スバルトアールブヘイムが実装された時に配られたマニュアルに記載されてましたよ。ゆい、ちょっと説明してもらえるか？は
well, the other people's um, gameplays because uh, because I'm uh, messing around a little bit too much sometimes. But uh, hey, uh, I love it. I really love it, and um, I really hope that uh, you guys will. Warning, altitude limit. Okay. So that will uh, that will show us uh, the the limit. So I won't be able to go up there. Well, let's uh, let's try it out. Altitude limit. Come on, don't fall down. Yeah. So that's it. I think that was the starting point where we entered uh, the place. And uh, what else can we find here? There aren't too many things. I wonder if we will come back uh, later on to uh, to this area. Mm. It's a little bit uh, distracting that uh, if if you want to move the camera, it's uh, it's not staying there. So it's it's going back to uh, to the place where where it was. Oh wait a second! This is uh, another teleport, or not another? Oh, I I'm out of uh, out of energy. Okay, so guys, here we go. Uh, let's uh, let's try to enter this uh, this stuff. Oh, how can I enter it? Maybe this is not uh, the one I should go to. Yeah, the uh, the other one was uh, at a completely different place. All right. Well, now I have to find it. It's it's not really on on the map, but um, here we go. Alfheim, and this is a new expansion of uh, of the game. What I know is that in this uh, this realm, maybe maybe it will be said uh, a little bit later. So uh, I I don't want to uh, want to spoil it. Hmm. It's basically uh, Kirito Kirito and Lifa decided to join this uh, this game, and uh, they are now level level hundred, I think. Uh, the the top level and there is a there's a new expansion what uh, they uh, released for the game so that's uh, that's the main, uh, main story here i wonder if uh, if we have uh, two of those a uh, uh, teleport pass then uh, why can't I, I enter the the other one well anyways let's uh, let's try to look around maybe there will be some some kind of uh, chests here and there, or maybe maybe not. And uh, yeah, let's just enter that teleport. Let's not spend uh, too much more time here. So there it is. That's uh, that's the place, and I'm almost out of uh, stamina. And I hope that uh, we'll be able to increase it. It's uh, it's a little bit uh, well uh, distracting to watch at uh, at that. You know, well, anyways, here we go. Let's drop down. A floating city of oh, Rhine. Let's go there. And let's see what happens. バルトワルブヘイムの街かやっぱり初めての街に降り立つとワクワクするよね宿屋や商店などの基本的な施設はもちろん酒場や陶器場なども この新エリアの街の中では飛行できません。そうか。新エリアの街はそもそもエールオーホントとシステムの仕組みが違うみたいだな。はい。ですが、今回のバージョンアップではシステムのアップデートはもちろん新しいダンジョンやクエストも多数
Nice. Here we go. Well, welcome to Alfheim Online. Great. We just entered uh, the the town. There are so many people here. It's a new area. So first thing first, information. I've been waiting for this uh, new content. Oh, I can uh, I can walk through uh, people. Mm, it's interesting. I won't be able to talk with uh, everyone. So that makes it a little bit easier, but uh, I will be uh, will see some some kind of uh, stuff over uh, some of the people's hand. You can fly much faster than I thought you could. Oh, and can you see that on that uh, on that board? Well, that's okay. So let's start uh, by by running around, okay? And uh, and probably maybe we'll see some things here. I'm thrilled to be able to uh, fight new monsters. Oh yeah, sir, that's uh, that's awesome. Ooh, who is she? Uh, let's speak to her. Gossip uh, player. Hey everyone, good afternoon. As you have expect expected after a big update like this, uh, there are a ton of players around. We are, were you able to meet up with your friends? Hey everyone, uh, yeah, it seems that uh, there will be only one line of what uh, they will say, so it's, uh, it's not going to be different uh, uh, what, what they, they are saying. They are so amazing! Okay, whoa! Kirito-kun! Wow, やっぱりあんたたち待ち合わせ時間より先に来てる。仕方ないですよ、リズさん。キリトさんが待ちきれるわけないじゃないですか。本当、あんたって欲望に忠実というか、団体行動を乱すわよね。ま、それがあんたら